Well, hello there, and good evening, uh, YouTube. I'm uh, William Brantley, uh, reporting from uh, South Jackson, Tennessee, uh, ready to share with you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. It turned out to be an okay uh, Mother's Day today. It was cloudy for the most part, but uh, we didn't have any significant rain, not during the daylight hours, at least. Uh, the clouds are finally breaking up here in the Bemis area to the west, and it should become a fair sky overnight and be generally mostly clear tomorrow. Uh, there is an area of some scattered showers with the cold front approaching our area tonight. Uh, be early in the morning though before it gets here uh, and that, and but the showers on the radar are indicating that they will be dissipating as they approach Jackson um, tomorrow morning around daybreak so but we might get a sprinkle or two as it moves through but most likely uh, just be a shift in the wind and maybe a little brief area of clouds moving through uh, near daybreak. Other than that, it should be a fair day tomorrow, other than that. Alrighty, uh, happy Mother's Day, by the way, to all the, all the moms out there and to all the fathers who have to uh, end up raising their kid uh, without a mom and single daddies. And happy Mother's Day to them as well. And uh, happy Mother's Day to my mom, who is uh, in heaven. She has been there for a few years. Uh, Miss uh, Patricia Ann Wilkins uh, Brantley. Uh, she passed away at the age of uh, 55. Uh, and I forget what year that was now, but it doesn't matter. Uh, my dad, of course, has passed away uh uh, just before she did, so both my parents have already gone. Of course, I'm uh, in my early 60s myself, but uh, anyways, happy birthday, uh, happy birthday, <laughs> happy Mother's Day in heaven, Mom. Uh, I doubt you get to watch YouTube up there. No, I'm just a little joke there on the side, uh, but she was a precious uh, woman, and uh, I miss her a lot, and, uh, and it never does really go away. Uh, the, the feelings of being around mom and all. I just uh, wanted to mention her uh, just uh, for let you know. Alrighty, uh, on to the weather. Uh, looks like uh, current conditions and summary and all that. As of 5 p.m. here in the Bemis area, the skies was cloudy at 5 p.m. It's now mostly cloudy with some breaks of, uh, to our west. The temperature at 5 p.m. was 64 degrees. As of 6.49 p.m., well, 63 degrees. It hadn't dropped much. Uh, the dew point at 5 p.m. was 51 degrees. Humidity was at 68%. Or, excuse me, make that 63%. Uh, we had uh, northwest winds at 8 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure was 29 point. 82 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature was 55 degrees uh, as of 5 p.m. Uh, today's high got up to 67 degrees and uh, that's two days in a row we've had highs in the 60s uh, but starting tomorrow it should climb on into the 70s and then we're back into the 80s by Wednesday I believe. And, uh, see, the high today was 67, like I mentioned. Uh, my rain gauge showed 200ths of an inch of rain in it. Uh, I'm just really not for sure when that fell. I guess it was sometime between midnight and daybreak is when that fell. All right, the lowest humidity today was 63%. That was at 5 p.m., while the highest would be 97% at 1 a.m. Highest wind gust today was 15 miles per hour out of the northwest at 1.13 p.m. Oh, incidentally, yesterday's uh, climate data for May the 11th, uh, low temperature was 56 degrees. Yesterday's high was 67 degrees. 
and I had uh, 75 hundredths of an inch of rainfall uh, yesterday from, the, from a thunderstorm to move through during the 2 and 3 p.m. hour here in the Bemis area. That now puts me up to 2.52 inches for the month and uh, 29.97 inches for the year on uh, precipitation. Alright, the records for today, uh, May the 12th, hottest uh, high would be 93 degrees in 2005, uh, coolest high would be 63 degrees in 1960, warmest low would be 73 in the year 2000, and the coldest low would be 39 degrees in 1989. Rainfall record? It would be 1.43 inches in 1983. Alrighty, uh, it's time to look at a few maps, uh, forecast maps and the radar, and uh, go from there. Well, right now, West Tennessee is in the clear of precipitation. But like I mentioned, there is a cold front to our northwest that's trying to move toward us and move through probably early in the morning and but right now west tennessee is in the clear but up here in missouri you can just kind of see the thunderstorm that's going on over there and a little bit over in arkansas let me see if i can branch this over and get a better view of it uh then you see one near Searcy, arkansas and it's moving southeast and those are the storms up in missouri that uh, is moving uh, uh, southeast, or east southeast, more like it. And Lebanon and Bala, Missouri, those areas have gotten some thunderstorms up there. They are moving kind of in the direction of West Tennessee, but the future forecast maps of the radar indicated them dissipating as they approach uh, Jackson and most of West Tennessee. <clears throat> probably leaving us with, uh, at worst, uh, maybe a few clouds floating by, but uh, probably no sprinkles, because it should become pretty, pretty uh, fair skies before too long. So, uh, in case to lose a few clouds and might experience a few sprinkles, it would be toward 4 or 5 o'clock tomorrow morning when most of us are still asleep, uh, if it happens. So if you wake up in the streets a little damp, it probably came from that. If not, uh, we got lucky. <laughs> Just that simple. Uh, other than that, let me put it back on West Tennessee. Branch it out one more time. And let's see. Uh, East Tennessee is getting a little rain over there. In East Tennessee as well. Over near Knoxville. Over in that area of uh, East Tennessee. All right. Uh, let me see if I can bring this down get a better view of the rain up north. It's really kind of scattered in Missouri. It's not widespread. <clears throat> not really. And it's more more heavier way on up toward uh, uh, near Chicago going into uh, Indiana it looks like. It looks like the heaviest is actually headed toward Chicago uh, from this uh, radar perspective and up in northwest uh, Indiana. But it's way up there. It's not going to affect us down here in West Tennessee. Alright. Uh, let's move on to the satellite picture. I've got it on uh, this map this time. Let me see if I can get this one adjusted to where you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to have to uh, knock that off. Get the loop going again and see I'm not going to be able to show much of it it's not going to show like I really want it to there's a national view I went back to the other map and it doesn't really show the clearing that well uh, let me see I really don't like the way this is coming out I want to bring that out so I can see it better Hang on, everybody. Now, that's what I need to do right there. Okay. 
I should I should have went with the other one. But it take too long to bring it up. That's why I'm I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I tell you what, uh, I know what to do. I'll put it back on Tennessee. Put it back on Tennessee. Uh, Montgomery, Alabama. That's close enough. And that, yeah, that uh, shows a better view uh, right here in Tennessee than what that other one did. It kind of shows you the clearing line, too. It's just just passing through Jackson now, the clearing line is. There are a few clouds up in Missouri that's moving east-southeast. That Some of those may be tagging uh, northern West Tennessee during the evening hours. But most of us should wind up having fair skies overnight. And let me see. Look at Little Rock, Arkansas real quick. If I can get this to do what I want it to do. Which uh, rarely happens. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, there's a, quite a few clouds up there in Missouri. But they're swinging down toward our way. So the skies are going to wind up being fair, which is generally means clear to partly cloudy at worst. And that's probably where the clouds are going to be coming from, if we have any more, uh, after midnight. It's thanks to those clouds up here. But they should be cleared out all the way by tomorrow afternoon. It may wind up being a partly cloudy day tomorrow morning, and then co almost completely clear by tomorrow afternoon and so on. Otherwise, it's fairly decent out west. West of us here. Other than that, alright, let's move on to the weather maps. Uh, looks like, uh, according to the Weather Channel, the current surface map is showing uh, some uh, low pressure in Missouri. That's probably why you're getting that rain up there. It's clear West Tennessee for right now. Uh -huh, there's low pressure over East Tennessee. That's why it's raining over there. We got lucky with nothing over here. <laughs> at least not at the moment. But there you see where it's raining in parts of the country. And uh, all that where the fronts are. The current map. It's not raining much at all out west. It's all concentrated. Uh, what What is going on? Uh, well, east of the Plain States primarily. Alright, uh, that's the current surface map. Let's look at tomorrow morning's forecast maps. Uh, see, okay, for Monday morning, nationally speaking, it looks like uh, the rain's going to be gone by then. Cold front's going to be moved through by then. It's going to be south of us by tomorrow morning. And there you see the rain's mainly over the uh, Great Lakes area, New England states, mainly up in there. No rain around here is expected. A little bit down in the northern, uh, southern Georgia and northern Florida. And uh, a little bit out there near El, El Paso, Texas. And really nothing going on nationwide beyond that spot there, those spots there. And again, this is for tomorrow morning. Doesn't look too bad, really. Midday, probably not a whole lot of difference. Very little adjustments are made. Good weather here in West Tennessee. Two high pressures taking care of us. There you see where the rain is expected to take place. This is for midday tomorrow. And by tomorrow night, uh, looks like... Uh, going to continue to be nice. High pressure right there kind of near Cape Girardeau, Missouri taking care of us. There you see where the rain is expected. And at least there's no snow on the maps. <laughs> Not even out in the western uh, mountains yet. Maybe it's getting warm enough even out there to where the snow's going to stop. But that's again for tomorrow night. Alright. Let's look at a few days for the on the Pacific forecast. For here in Jackson and uh, West Tennessee. Uh, it should be, generally speaking, fair skies most of the tonight. Despite the idea that there's a few showers up in Missouri that's trying to move uh, this way. But again, they're expected to uh, dissipate by the time they get here. 
leaving us with really hopefully nothing more than partly cloudy skies. Alright, uh, the sun sets tonight at 7.50 p.m. It rises tomorrow morning at 5.52 a.m. The uh, moon will be setting at 2.15 a.m. tomorrow morning. We should have mostly clear skies tomorrow uh, with a low of 49 and a high of 68 with north winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour. Like I said, the sun will be rising at 5.52 a.m. setting at 7.51 p.m. tomorrow night. And the moon will be rising at 2.18 p.m. tomorrow afternoon and be setting at 2.54 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Uh, speaking of Tuesday, mostly clear, low to 46 and high of 74 with north winds of 5 to 10 miles per hour. So hopefully, uh, by tomorrow's high of 68, we'll finally get into the 70s by Tuesday and finally hit 80s by Wednesday. And uh, at least we'll get out of the 60s for highs. But still, that's not too terrible. It's a little cool, but what can you say? Wednesday, we're going to be back to mostly cloudy skies. There's going to be a 50% chance for a few showers and thunderstorms, increasing to an 80% chance by Wednesday night. Low near 53, high of 80, with southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. On into Thursday, very cloudy, with a 40% chance for a few showers and thunderstorms that will be scattered till Thursday night, then becoming fair. Low of 59, high of 83, with northwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Finally becoming fair again by next Friday and Saturday. Mostly fair next Friday. Low of 62, high of 86. Ah, that comes the 80s. Uh, middle 80s at least. Uh, low of 64, Saturday, high of 86. Next Saturday, winds out of the south at 10 to 20. Both days. And next Sunday, very big cloudy. With a 50% chance of a few showers and thunderstorms, low of 67, high of 81, with south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And by Monday, uh, May 20th, fair skies, low of 66, high of 82, with south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. By next Tuesday uh, week, uh, no, well, next Tuesday, next week, May 21st, very cloudy with a 40% chance of a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Low of 67, high of 85 with southwest wind to 10 to 20 miles per hour. Alrighty, that's the forecast for the next nine days. Uh, basically, good skies by Monday and Tuesday. More clouds and storms and rain by Wednesday, especially Wednesday night. And then a, a few scattered well, on uh, Thursday. Is where it's looking right now. And once again, uh, 49 for a low and high of 68 tomorrow. North wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Alrighty, that's it for this evening. Thank you for watching and viewing and subscribing and leaving some nice comments. And I uh, hope to talk, get the chance to talk to you again uh, tomorrow night. And until then, have a blessed Mother's Day evening. Goodbye. God bless you.